Welcome back to 365 Blend Bytes. Today, I have an exciting tutorial lined up for you. We're diving into the world of Microsoft Excel and Visio, where we'll transform a sample organizational data Excel sheet into a stunning and dynamic org chart masterpiece. I'll walk you through setting up the org chart directly in Excel using add-ins like Visio Data Visualizer. From there, we'll import the Excel data into the Visio application to take it a step further. In Visio, we'll explore using built-in design with themes, variants and data graphics to enhance the chart's visual appeal. We'll also customize the chart by linking new data directly to the shape, ensuring it remains dynamic and up-to-date. Before we dive in, please make sure to like, share, and subscribe to 365 Blend Bytes for more such tutorials. Your support helps me create more valuable content for you. Open the Excel sheet. Navigate to the Home tab and locate the Add-ins section. If you do not see Add-ins here, go to the Search option at the top and type Add-ins and click on it. Search for Visio in the Add-in store. When Data Visualizer appears, click on it. Since we are not using a work or school account, we will only have access to Preview. Select the Preview option to proceed. You will now see several templates. Select the Organizational Chart option. Among the available layouts, click Create the Vertical Chart. As soon as you select the vertical chart, a default organizational chart will appear along with an Excel table. Move the table to the top left corner to ensure it is properly visible. Move the chart as well. In the table, you will find columns for Employee ID, Employee Name, Title, Manager ID or Reporting ID, and Role Type. For example, the manager marketing reports to the director, so the manager ID for manager marketing will be ID1. Similarly, we will have the manager ID column for all employees based on their reporting hierarchy. The role type column categorizes employees as executives, managers, staff, or assistants and so on. Next, we will input the sample employee data into this default table. Once the data is added, click on the refresh button in the chart. The organizational chart will automatically update with the new data. If you delete an employee like ID 19 from the table and click refresh, the employee will disappear from the chart. Similarly, you can add a new employee by clicking on the last row of the table, entering their details and clicking refresh. This allows you to manage the organizational chart dynamically. To access advanced features such as themes and enhanced editing, a subscription is required when using the edit option in the Visio web application. However, as we will be utilizing the Visio desktop application, some preparatory steps are necessary. Begin by deleting the existing chart from Excel while retaining the data table. Next, we will add additional relevant data columns such as hiring date, annual compensation, current experience years, and assets. These columns will ensure that all possible options are reflected when creating the organizational chart in the Visio application, showcasing the application's full capabilities. Next, save the updated Excel file by pressing Ctrl plus S. Choose OneDrive as the save location to enable real-time updates, rename the file appropriately based on your project specifications, and confirm by clicking Save. After saving, Close the Excel file and proceed to open the Visio desktop application to create a comprehensive organizational chart. In Visio, you will find various templates and categories, including drawings, flowcharts, and organizational charts. Select the organizational chart category. Choose the blank chart template, ensure the units are set to US units by default, and click Create. Visio will prompt you to choose a data source for the organizational chart. In the first prompt, select the option information that is already stored in a file or database, and click Next. Then, choose the second option in the list, which supports text or Excel files, and click Next. In the next window, click Browse to locate the Excel file containing your data. Select the Excel file from OneDrive, click Open, and then click Next. A new window will appear prompting you to define the organizational structure. Under the Name section, select Name from the drop-down menu, this will likely default to Name. In the Reports to section, choose Manager ID from the drop-down menu. The first Name section is optional, so leave it as None, and then click Next. 
the next window allows you to choose the column fields from your data that you want to display. On the left, you will see the data file columns, and on the right, the displayed fields. By default, name and title are listed in the displayed fields section. If you want to add additional fields, such as roll type, select the column on the left and click add to move it to the displayed fields section. You can reorder fields using the up and down buttons. Since we are using only name and title, select roll type in the displayed field section, click remove to move it back to the data file columns, ensure name is at the top and title is below it, and then click next. The next window prompts you to select which columns from your data you would like to add to the organizational chart shapes as shape data fields. Keep the default selections as name and title, then click next. In the following window, you will be asked if you have pictures available for each employee. You can import pictures from your computer or a network location by clicking the Locate Folder button. Ensure the pictures are named according to relevant columns, such as employee ID or name, so they correspond accurately to each employee in the organizational chart. Since we are not using pictures in this example, select Don't Include Pictures and click Next. The wizard then displays a window indicating that your organizational data may contain too many employees to fit on one page. You can either allow the wizard to define each page automatically or specify how much of the organization to display on each page. For this tutorial, we will select the option, I want to specify how much of my organization to display on each page, and click Next. Ensure that the top employee, which is the CEO, is set as the starting point in the organizational chart and verify that the total employee count is correct, which, in this case, should be 20 employees as listed in the Excel data. Once you have verified the information, click Finish to complete the process. After completing the wizard, the organizational chart will be generated based on the hierarchy defined in your Excel sheet. Initially, the chart may appear disorganized. Navigate to the Organizational Charts tab, go to Layout, and select Horizontal Center section for better alignment. It's advisable to finalize this layout after completing all updates to avoid repetitive adjustments, though interim alignment is also acceptable. Since the organizational chart is linked to your Excel sheet, it is essential to ensure the same data file remains accessible. We need to re-import the file one more time. To do this, navigate to the Data tab. Select Quick Import. Locate your file. Click Open and then click Done to complete the process. This imports the data, displaying the range and column headings in the data graphic field pane, such as employee ID, name, title, manager ID, and others. By default, some data graphic fields, such as annual compensation or role type, may already be selected. You can modify these fields. For instance, replace role type with current experience years. Highlight the current experience years field, then under the data graphics drop down, choose a visual representation, such as a speedometer. The speedometer automatically adjusts values, with the highest experience being the maximum indicator and the lowest experience being the minimum indicator. With the data graphic fields configured, proceed to close the data graphics pane. Next, navigate to the data tab, and within the show hide group, ensure the external data window option is selected. This will display the external data pane on the right side of the screen, showing the rows from the linked Excel file. Each row in the external data pane corresponds to a shape in the organizational chart, ensuring all shapes are accurately linked to the respective data entries. To test the linkage, make changes in the Excel file. For example, add a new employee, ID 21, as assistant to the CEO, reporting to the CEO, ID 1. Include relevant details like compensation, experience, and assets, ensuring all entries are within the table range. Once the data is filled, close the Excel file, and since it's saved in OneDrive, it will automatically sync. Next, switch to Visio. Under the Data tab, click on Refresh All to update the external data pane. Wait a few seconds for the data to refresh, and you'll see Employee ID 21, Assistant to CEO, appear in the external data pane. However, Visio does not automatically adjust the shapes directly, so the next step requires manually adding the new employee. 
Click and drag the newly added employee entry to the blank area of the organizational chart, a corresponding shape will appear, and a link icon will display in the external data pane, indicating that the shape is now linked to the specific data row. Right-click on the shape and set the position to Assistant. Then, drag and drop the shape under the CEO section of the chart. As you do this, the connectors will automatically adjust to reflect the new relationship and the employee data will be linked to the correct shape in the chart. To further enhance the presentation of the organizational chart, click Relayout under the Org Chart tab. This will automatically adjust the layout for improved clarity and visual appeal. Then, you can explore different chart styles to refine the appearance of your organizational chart. Options like Notch can modify the shape's design, or you might choose styles such as Shapetacular for a unique look. For this organizational chart, we will select the panel shape style to ensure a polished and professional appearance. Under the Design tab, you can further refine the layout. In the Layout group, click on Relayout page and select the Flowchart top to bottom option. This adjustment organizes the chart into a streamlined vertical hierarchy for better readability and structure. Furthermore, the chart is configured to auto-size, dynamically adjusting as employees are added. If preferred, you can change it to manual sizing for precise control. In the design section, you also have the option to select a theme. Choose the linear team style, and if you want to enhance the visibility further, select the linear variant for from the variant section. Additionally, use the drop-down menu under Variants to explore various effects. For this organizational chart, we will apply the gemstone effect for a polished look. To add a background, go to the Background section and choose a background of your choice, such as Verve. You can also adjust the borders and titles by selecting border options such as Tiles. Once you add the background, it will appear as a page at the bottom left of the screen, adjacent to page number 1. Then. Click on the title to select the appropriate title name. The current date will automatically appear on the right side of the title. For further customization, you can change the fill color of individual shapes. Click on a shape and go to the Shape Style section. From there, choose the fill option and select the desired color. For example, set the CEO shape to dark red. The assistant to the CEO to orange. The VP of Operations to light blue and the Director of Construction and Director of Engineering to black. You can continue this process for each employee shape to color code them according to your preference. If the layout doesn't provide the desired spacing, you can manually adjust the positions. For instance, move the CEO shape slightly upwards to create more space, and then drag the assistant to the CEO shape to the right to improve the layout. Right-click on any shape and use the Subordinates option to arrange or synchronize the subordinates as needed. You can also change the position of an employee from, for example, manager to assistant or consultant. In addition to that Visio allows you to view and edit detailed employee data. Click Shape Data. This will show you all the data linked to that shape, including the information entered in the Excel sheet, such as name, title, and employee ID, role type, hiring date, and compensation. You will also see additional columns like department, telephone, email. You can also use the Define Shape data to customize and define additional data fields for each shape in your diagram. This feature enables you to enrich the shapes with extra data, ensuring that the chart provides more detailed information beyond the default fields. To easily locate which data row is linked to a specific shape, go to the external data pane, click the desired data row and this will highlight the corresponding shape in the organizational chart, making it easier to identify the position of the employee, especially in larger charts. Furthermore, within the Data Graphics section, you have the option to choose alternative graphical representations of data. For example, instead of a speedometer, you could select the progress circle, depending on your preference. With all the necessary data linked and shapes arranged, the organizational chart will now present a comprehensive view of each employee's details, including their name, position, annual compensation, current experience, and more. Each shape will also display a color-coded appearance for better visual differentiation, giving the chart a polished and organized look. You can customize the data at any time, making it easy to update as needed.
The chart displayed here serves as an example of how to create an organizational chart for a construction-related company, focusing on key positions and top executive roles. While this isn't a full representation of the entire company structure, it demonstrates how Visio, when linked with Excel data, can efficiently generate a professional organizational chart. This approach eliminates the need for manual updates, saving significant time and effort while ensuring the chart remains flexible for future enhancements. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe. Your support enables me to create more tutorials like this. I'll see you in the next video.